What's up guys? It is John from Side Hustle Experiment. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And this channel, I teach you guys how to make money selling on Amazon, done over a million dollars in sales. So if you're into that kind of stuff, follow along the journey. In today's video, I'm breaking down, just kind of doing a business update. I haven't made a video in a while. I'm gonna kind of get into why um, I haven't, uh, what's been going on with my business, what I've been up to, and all that kind of fun stuff. So shout out to Steve Rakin. Uh, and this is one of the things that it definitely relates to Amazon is making things way too complicated. So the reason I haven't really made a ton of videos for the channel is because I made the process so complicated. I used to just drive home on my way home, turn, put the camera on, put the iPhone on, and just tell you what happened, what's been going on, uh, business lessons, all that kind of stuff. And I continued to do that, it went well, um, and what I thought I needed to do to grow uh, my audience or, I don't know, get this message out to more people was to go super high-end um, and really produce more content, but content that gets more views. So what happened? I got about a $700 camera, some stuff that goes with that. I hired a full-time video editor um, to help out, to get these videos produced. And you know what? The process became so complicated. I just figured out how to use the camera. I'm just not really like super tech savvy when it comes to cameras and stuff like that um you know i got a microphone i got the whole thing and it turns out like this is the way that i'm going to make videos moving forward uh for right now anyway um and steve rakin i was telling him i was like i can't get i just made it to he's like there are some points in your life where like you could only make certain kinds of content if you don't have time to do like high end don't stop making content just make what you can so that is what i'm going to be doing moving forward um so how does this relate to amazon so this relates to amazon all the time we make the process i do it myself we make it too complicated really amazon doing online arbitrage yes it is a tad bit more complicated than this but we're really just looking for products at a cheap price that sell for more on Amazon. And we're doing that by going to large retail websites or little niche websites, trying to find that, trying to use coupon codes, trying to use discounted gift cards, trying to bundle things up or whatever. That's all we're doing. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. You can get that done with Selleramp and Keepa. I have videos on live sourcing Selleramp all on the channel. If you want a free uh, subscription of Selleramp, a 14 day trial, there's a link below for that. But don't make it any more complicated than it has to be. If you're trying to scale, I've been getting this question a lot lately. Hey, where, how do I get from you know, 10K to 20K or 20 to 30 or 30 to 40? And the answer really is you want, you gotta put some systems in place um, which I did a very poor job of. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get into that. Uh, two, you got to double down on what's working. Three, spend more money. Four, test a lot more products. That's literally how you scale um, <clears throat> the business. So for me, one of my biggest challenges was I lost or I fired both of my virtual assistants uh, right around, right in the new year. Um, and I moved out of my warehouse a lot has happened. So now I'm working out of my home office, uh, still kind of getting adjusted to that. And yeah, so basically what I what else is going on in the business? Uh, we just I just uh, launched a boot camp uh, with my friend Amazing Asen. So it, the first class is tonight. Uh, so super excited about that. I've been spending a lot of time like on that. I'm spending a ton of time on the FBA Inner Circle Discord. We just put some bots in there and some monitors. We're trying to kind of get that all figured out and situated. Uh, so if you want to join, it's free. Uh, there'll be a link down below for you. Definitely go in there. 
say hi, um, tag me if you have any questions. That's probably one of the best ways to get a hold of me right now. Um, so yeah, that been going on. Um, I hired another virtual assistant. Um, I am in the process of training them. Um, definitely forgot kind of, it's a lot of work to train. Um, so really looking forward to that. We're making progress. Um, it's just, it's just a process. Uh, I remember the first one I hired, it took a good, like probably 60 to 90 days to really get things up and running. Obviously it's a little easier this time because I've already went through it. I already have everything set up and kind of the criteria and everything that I am looking for. So that is definitely makes it a little easier. Um, what else? Uh, there will be a video with Reezy Resales on the channel. I'm actually interviewing him tomorrow. That is super exciting. Um, he was the one who really turned me on to Amazon after watching one of his videos of thrifting books. So super excited for that. That interview is gonna be awesome. Uh, I spoke, I got, well, this isn't too recent, but I spoke at Miami Sellers Conference uh, like last month. That was a lot of fun. Um, what else, what else? I'm doing um, live videos, live Q&A with videos with Michaela, FBA Michaela. Um, we're shooting for every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. So be on the lookout for that. We've already done, I think, four of them. Uh, it's a ton of fun. So be on the lookout for that. And also the Discord, we do a group coaching call. Uh, usually get someone who's really doing well in the Amazon space um, and interview them. And you guys can ask them questions. That happens Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you got to be in the Discord for that. Um, and just in general, this it's, it's a, it's been a frustrating kind of time sourcing, um, just coming January, February for me personally, um, just one moving out of the warehouse to, uh, you know, going to Miami. I took a little vacation after that. So I haven't really been doing a ton of sourcing. Um, February is actually a good time to kind of take a little rest, um, since there's not a ton of sales going on. I mean, there's always profitable product to find, but um, yeah, it should get a little better here. Definitely starting to see some more sales pick up as we get into spring and all that kind of stuff and the weather gets nicer. There'll definitely be some seasonal opportunities that pop up. Um, what else? I am really trying not to source apparel again. Um, and really focusing on health and household, beauty, uh, kitchen, more high volume stuff. Not to say apparel isn't high volume. I just really want to sell those types of items because I just think it's a better path. Um, for my business personally, that does not mean I'm going to stop selling apparel <coughs> completely. It just means for right now, I'm really trying not to source that type of stuff. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what's really been going on. Just spending a ton of time trying to make, um, you know, the Discord awesome. Uh, so that's where kind of attention shifted from YouTube to kind of over there and then making this process more complicated. I do kind of just miss the days of just being in the car, just saying what's on my mind, uh, what else is going on in the space. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit what's going on. I feel like I had something else, but big lesson of the day, don't make things more complicated than they have to be. Again, we're just looking for products that are cheap and that could sell for more on Amazon that don't get returned. That's literally the basis of what we're trying to do every single day. And the products are out there. One of the biggest takeaways. So today I was sourcing by myself and I'm really trying to set, 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 set sourcing times. Um, so basically either do about an hour and a half to two hours, just sourcing not you know checking my phone not 
you know, listening to a podcast or I feel like music's fine. I've been definitely listening to music sometimes. Um, but just really sourcing. And this morning it was super annoying. I was doing it for about 40 minutes and I didn't find anything about 45 minutes. And I was like, damn, like this sucks. And I wanted to be like, you know what? I'm going to come back to this. Um, you know, this is just really annoying. And then I was like, no, like you're doing this for 90 minutes to two hours. Sure enough, about 60 minutes in, I found one product, um, that I've never seen before, um, was able to get it with a coupon code, uh, that I think Capital One Shopping popped in. Uh, that is super awesome. And then about, I think five or 10 minutes later, found two more products <clears throat> basically on the same site that I bought the first one from. Um, so it just takes time and, you know, sitting down for a half hour here or a half hour there is just not going to really do it. So I almost think if I could, that's going to be kind of my goal. Obviously I'm training the virtual assistant. We meet for about almost an hour in the morning, hour and a half, uh, just kind of sourcing together, reviewing what he's submitting. So that's just basically going to be my plan. So if I could find, the goal is also to find a lot more ASINs and test new ASINs, go much wider uh, and test a lot. So then I could go deeper on more things. And I'm starting to up test buys a little bit. Uh, I was watching someone live source the other day in a group that I'm in, and they were saying that one of their biggest ways that they grew uh, was kind of doubling their initial buy. Um, which is definitely risky. This is for people who have been doing this uh, for a while. This is not for the beginner, no offense. Um, but basically his theory is that you will win more than you will lose. And I do think that a lot, a lot of the times I am right um, when I'm buying a product now. Yes, the, I do buy the occasional one that tanks, um, or something goes awry and doesn't pan out. But for the most part, a lot of what I've been buying lately has been really good. The issue, uh, has been that I've only bought like five or 10 of them and other people catch on. And then I may or not, may or may not be able to restock, but to go deep at that point is really not ideal. Um, just because people are starting to learn about the listing and it's definitely gonna get more crowded. So that's really not the time to do it. Not saying I'm doubling test buys. I'm not saying I'm not doing test buys. Like do not take it that way. I'm just saying I am considering upping orders where maybe I just buy five. Now I'm going to buy 10 or 12 or whatever, whatever makes the most sense today. There was an item I would have probably only bought like three or four of, and I bought eight. So there's just little things like this. Um, obviously, I realize there could be risk in that, but I do think that's one of the biggest things holding me back right now. It's either you have to have a lot of ASINs, you could buy like five or 10 of, and maybe replant a couple of them and just keep finding new ASINs, or you have to kind of go a little deeper on some to kind of, you know, get it going. Um, I also am trying to be a little bit more aggressive. There are a couple of listings I'm on right now that for some reason are just doing really, really well. Um, they're kind of weird keepers. I tested, a a pretty size, like a decent size batch twice now. And now it's kind of like, how much of this do I want to buy? Um, obviously I want to buy a ton, um, but also I don't want to get stuck with a ton. So that's exciting. Uh, but yeah, the goal is really to find as many new ASINs as possible at this point and just keep growing it out. Uh, not necessarily just going wider and a little deeper. And when I say deep, I'm not talking like 100, 200 deep. I'm talking maybe like 30, 40, 50. Obviously depends on the listing, but that is the goal is to kind of find more stuff that I could potentially go deeper on, that has less sellers on it, um, and just kind of go from there. Um, so yeah, that is kind of what is going on. I will keep you updated on that and other things that are going on. 
uh, there'll definitely be more videos. They're just not going to be as high end or whatever with all this crap popping up or whatever. Um, just really shooting for good content. And if you like this video, uh, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you've been up to in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.